Hi, I'm Mohammed. I'm a graduate student here at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and I study kelp. So there was this marine heat wave in 2014, and just as it naturally does, the kelp forest kind of fluctuated from being really dense in its height in 2013 to being really sparse. Unlike North Coast California, urchins aren't the problem here. And despite the water temperatures returning to normal, the kelp canopy out here in San Diego has not. And I'm determined to figure out why that is. Sea Trees is supporting Scripps Institution of Oceanography to address why kelp forest canopy hasn't returned. But more importantly, figure out what we can do to bring it back. This research will inform a statewide toolkit on kelp forest restoration that can then scale up on a global level to inform communities that are dependent on this natural resource. A lot of people I talk to wonder why kelp is even important. When kelp is healthy, uh, a stand just off the coast is influential in preventing coastal erosion. All these homes on the cliffs were so much better protected from wave action um, when the kelp was here, just naturally buffering the swell and, and storms. On top of that, a kelp forest, when it's healthy, provides three-dimensional structure for a lot of fisheries and sea creatures that we rely on, that we love seeing. We fish the local coastline close to 200 days a year. So having kelp beds is vital for our summer program, fishing uh, half-day calico bass, yellowtail, white sea bass, things like that. It's also vital for the stocks. You know, that's part of their ecosystem. Surfers probably remember days where Conditions were just perfectly glassy on the inside because of a nice patch of kelp keeping that onshore wind tame. We're just trying to figure out how to keep that going and bring it back in some of these local spots. This project focuses on the microscopic life stages of giant kelp, especially in the context of selecting heat tolerant strains that might be more resilient in a warming climate. We'll also be trying different outplanting techniques in order to maximize success. And what I'm most excited about is those reproductive seed bank stages especially because they're relatively understudied, and they probably play a bigger role than we think. It's still unclear how impacted San Diego's kelp really is, whether we've reached a point of no return, but this gives us a chance to work with the kelp that's still out there from a preventative approach. And I'm excited to get out there and start working.